Ricardo, Jose, Monique, John, Chad, and Kim would like to welcome families, friends, and loved ones today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Salvador Isaac Martinez and Morgan Riley Irvin. This is not the beginning of a new relationship, but an acknowledgement of the next chapter in their lives together. So, what's the period? 4.30, ceremony starts. So freaking nervous? Yeah, me too, bro. You should see how bad I'm shaking over here. She's not nervous. No, Morgan's doing great. She's doing great Oh! Does anyone have a teasing comb? Yeah, right here. This one? Either or we'll do. Oh yeah, right here, Zay. Come here, boy! sweethearts. Once upon a time in a small town called Santan Valley, two high school sport-loving souls named Salvador and Morgan first crossed paths. There's nothing like springtime, baseball, softball, and an older brother to make a romance bloom. I've waited a hundred years, but I'd wait a million more for you Nothing prepared me for but the privilege of being yours would do If I had only felt the Within your touch If I had only seen How you smile When you blush Morgan Riley I have been enamored by your beauty Since the day I laid that Ten years For ten years you have amazed me With your beautiful heart I fall in love with you every single day I fall in love with your compassion. I fall in love with your competitiveness. I fall in love with how hard you work to help others. I fall in love with how selfless you are. I fall in love with how patient you are with me. Thank you for being my travel buddy. <laughs> Thank you for being my adventure partner, sharing countless amazing experiences with me. I promise to be your constant companion in life's journey. I promise to always be there for you in times of need. I promise to always be your shoulder to cry on. And I promise to be your rock when you're feeling low. I promise to grow with you and in mind and in spirit. 
promise to laugh with you and cry with you. I promise to always be honest with you and be open with you. And your love, and I love your kind heart for as long as we both live. You are my best friend, my lover, my soulmate, and I can't run, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life. I vow to always love you for who you are. I promise to always be your biggest fan, to celebrate your accomplishments, and to comfort you in your defeats. I will always be your partner in creating the life we want together, to explore new places and new experiences with you. I vow to help you love life, to always hold you with tenderness, and to have patience that love to me. no longer exist, that they will be joined together as one. And just as your grains of sand can never be separated from one another, neither will your love, your lives, and your marriage. I am happy, oh so happy, to pronounce you husband and wife. Salvador, you may now kiss your beautiful wife. First time, Mr. and Mrs. Salvador Martinez.
of applause for our new bride and groom once again. Hey everybody, I just wanted to say thank you guys for being here tonight. Uh, I got a couple words that I would like to share. Uh, first of all, I just want to say, uh, let's go! You did it! It's so fun and exciting to have all of my family here at the same time, meeting each other, uh, falling in love with each other, and spending time with each other. It's really cool. Um, I can't wait for the fun to continue, uh, but um, I can't wait to continue drinking. Uh, first, I want to make a quick shout out to everyone who made this weekend possible. Um, it really means a lot to us that you all showed up to celebrate our love. Morgan, I'm in love with you so much. I love you so fucking much. Dude. I'm in love with every piece that you claws and all. Thank you for always pushing me to be a better man. Thank you for keeping me in check when I lose focus in life. And thank you for having such a beautiful heart and loving me through thick and thin. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you, sweetheart. I want to say thank you to everybody for showing up tonight. I appreciate it. I can see all the love here tonight. Thank you guys. Kisser! I just want to thank my parents, my grandparents, Sal's parents, everybody that's, um, you know, helped us out this whole weekend, Sal's family, everybody coming out. Um, I appreciate every one of you coming out here <laughs> with us today. This was a dream come true, and without any of you here, it wouldn't have happened, so thank you. Now we're going to have a toast from our best man, Benny. Let's have a big round of applause. Welcome to the Hi, everyone. Uh, Sal and I have known each other for a little over 10 years. I'm not sure why he waited this long to ask me to be his best man. And I'm really not sure why he waited this long to ask Morgan to be his wife. Uh, there are a lot of you guys here tonight, some of you I haven't met. Um, for those of you I don't, I don't know, uh, my name is Benny. Um, Sal and I met back in high school. We played baseball together. Um, and we quickly bonded over our overactive sweat glands, actually. <laughs> um, we spent a couple of summers to see who could have a bigger puddle of sweat underneath us as we did planks on the gym floor. Um, it was actually Sal's sweatiness that first stood out to me. Not because it was odd or because I also suffered from the same ailment, but because he didn't seem to mind it one bit. Um, Sal was quiet, he was confident in himself, he was hardworking, he knew how to have fun, and most importantly of all, this man didn't care what other people thought, and I admire you for that, Sal. Um, Sal and I's friendship continued to flourish after high school. Most of our uh, memories consist of late night adventures, one of which resulted in a flip truck uh, on the highway. Um, that night, Sal saved my life and committed uh, open heart surgery to me, so th thanks, Sal. <laughs> um, another time, we decided it was a good idea to drive middle of the night to Sedona, sleep in a parking garage, and hike a couple of hours. Um, so that was a fun time. And I also had the honor of witnessing Sal's first home run in high school. It was a fastball down the middle, and he launched it over the left field fence. Um, that was also... Yeah, give, give a hand for that. That was also the only home run he'd ever hit. <laughs> um, the authenticity of our friendship has allowed us to bounce ideas off of each other, um, usually suffer through the trials of young adulthood, and um, most importantly of all, become better versions of ourselves. So Sal, I've always seen you as a brother. Um, I love you, and I'm incredibly happy to have you by my side. Uh, Morgan, you get to have him too. And this, wouldn't be a fair toast if I didn't say some stuff about Morgan as well. Um, I met Morgan in high school, and I think I'm, I might have known Morgan as long, if not longer, than I've known Sal. Um, one of the first things that stood out to me about Morgan was she had this old Ford pickup, and it was really cool. Um, but this truck was incredibly unreliable, and uh, one of our rescue efforts was on a random desert hillside. Um, yeah, but we got her back. Um, I quickly recognized afterward that her old beat-up truck 
wasn't the only thing that made her stand out. She had unmatched ability to light up a room and bring laughter and smiles to people's faces and um, give us a new year when we needed it most. Um, she also met me with extreme patience. At one point in our friendship, I broke her dirt bike um, and left it inoperable. And although she's probably boiling underneath the surface, she met me with um, extreme patience. But in hindsight, I was really just uh, prepping her for the patience that was required for Sal to get on me. <laughs> um, as you guys know, Morgan spent a lot of time on the diamond as well in high school. Uh, this, this is where she was a mere stone's throw away from Sal and I's dugout. Um, and this is where their love story began. Uh, they became the epitome of high school sweethearts. Um, a lot of people started dating at the time, but you could tell that Sal and Morgan had something extraordinary going on. Um, right off the bat, they, they were inseparable. And you couldn't imagine Sal without Morgan, Morgan without Sal, and that stands true to this day, obviously. Um, Sal, uh, Morgan, I love you guys. Morgan, I couldn't imagine anyone better suited for this man than you. Um, but everyone's searching for someone to spend the rest of their lives with, and you guys found someone you couldn't spend the rest of your lives without. So if I could have everybody raise a glass or whatever you guys are drinking for a toast for this amazing couple. May you guys have a marriage full of joy. Now we have a toast for our maids of honor. Let's have a big round of applause for Reagan and Lexi. I'm Lexi. Some of you know me, some of you don't. <laughs> uh, Morgan and I have been best friends since fourth grade. Um, we were in two different classes and we were standing in line waiting for specials. <laughs> um, and we had the same outfit on. <laughs> the rest was history after that. Um, if we could have spent every waking moment together, we would have. The memories we have about our life would be a hilarious comedy. From scaring Tyler because he did his own laundry for once. <laughs> making music videos on the computer. Making a Barbie music video with John and Walker. <laughs> calling my grandma pretending we got in a fight about a McRib at McDonald's. <laughs> I could go on and on. Morgan is my family. She is part of my family. And I know I'm a part of hers. Morgan has been there for me in the best days and my worst. She is a light in everyone's life. She will make you laugh your ass off. In any situation, it make your day so much brighter. She cares more about people than anyone I have ever met. She loves so deeply. I'm so happy she found her match. Sal, I'm so thankful that you make her a happier person. Um, sorry, I'm crying and I can't see. Uh, I'm so thankful that you are a part of our families now. Me and Sal have cried together and shared lots of fun memories. You love Morgan with all of your heart. And it makes me so happy because she deserves that. You guys are each other's best friends, and that's what marriage is all about. Morgan and Sal, I love you both from the bottom of my heart, and I can't wait to watch you guys start your life together. We are all so proud of you both, and always remember how many people are cheering you both on as you continue to grow together. I love you, we all love you, and thank you to our moms for putting us in the same outfit. <laughs> today filled with joy and a touch of nerves as I have the honor of speaking about my sister, the beautiful bride from our childhood games to today's gorgeous celebration we shared countless memories. She's the one who knows my secrets can make me laugh until I cry and has been my rock through thick and thin. Today she begins a new chapter with Sal who thankfully has passed the ceiling approval test with flying colors. Together they make such an amazing pair and 
I can't wait to see the incredible journey that lies ahead for them. To my sister, I want to say, you've always been my role model, my confidant, and my best friend. And as you stand in your stunning dress, I am overwhelmed with pride and happiness for you. So I'll take good care of her. She's a real gem. I like to think it was luck, but I know the universe needed us together. It was never I needed you or you needed me. It was always we needed each other. Not a day goes by that I wouldn't want it any other way because in every life, I know we would choose each other over and over again. There's a lot of me that I couldn't be without you. Welcome the father of the bride out onto the dance floor to join his daughter for their special dance together. There's two things I know for sure. She was sent here from heaven, and she's daddy's little girl. But if like his wings after bedtime prayer, stick a little white flowers on.
Isaac and Morgie. It's your most beautiful sister, Jasmine. Um, I love you both, and I'm so excited and so happy for you. And now that the wedding's over, bring on them babies, because you know I'm ready to be a tia again. And yeah, here's Jordan.
if we could have the uh, young lady who caught the bouquet out on the dance floor with the bride and groom, and the young man who caught the garter with the bride and groom for a picture.
This is the last.